Hey, it's good to leave the Gulf Coast ball in the pan on the pro for Pensacola, Florida. We are back. It's another episode of the Smoke Screen. Next to me is Tip the Bartender. Next to her is Cara. Under me is Rose. And next to her is B. How we doing? Good. How are you? Feeling Seasonal. Yeah. Come on. What is the strain of the day? I got uh, a little bit of tropical coast. Um, mm. It is a hybrid, and it 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 hits. It gives you a little a, a hybrid. It's a hybrid, and uh, oh. it gives you a happy high. I like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like a happy high. Yeah. And and what are the spirits that we are wetting our whistle with? Mm-hmm. I love a good old wine and mm-hmm. some good old Taylor Port. Taylor Port will always get me down. A little Taylor yeah. patient. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Happy holidays. Yeah. 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 Cheers, Tiffany. Cheers. Nothing says mm-hmm. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Like a little Let's see. Yeah, nothing like nothing like Taylor Port to get the party started. Yeah, <laughs> party going too. Shit, what true. you talking? Yeah, the party <laughs> going. Yeah. But don't drink too much because uh-huh. you could go from your party to the burial. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm, I see where you was. You, I see you almost okay. got there. So you almost got there. Okay. Yes. 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 I was, you know, very concerned about him, and I wanted him to get better. As we and all were. I yeah. wanted to make sure, you know, I just wanted to, I wanted him to come back and be the same and be fine, you know. So um, mm-hmm. I'm glad that Jamie is doing well. And this yeah. movie, I just saw him, and I was like, I got to watch it. I don't know what it's going to be, but I got to watch it. It was mm-hmm. very, very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Based yeah, on the story, that's Jamie Foxx is a national treasure. He really he is. is indeed. He is. Yeah. He is. Tommy Lee Jones with him on this ride. What mm-hmm. did we like about this movie? Hmm. Um, I, me personally, I never read nothing about a movie until I, I, I just watch it. So I didn't realize that this was a, a true story until the very end. I, I, I know it might have been some words up on the screen saying that this was a true story, and that's fine. I apparently didn't read them until the end of the movie. <laughs> um, um, I love that um, Jamie Foxx did an amazing job at portraying this this lawyer. Tommy Lee Jones did an amazing job. Everybody really just yes. shut down the yeah. whole movie. They really did an amazing, yeah. amazing job. Great yes. story. Definitely recommend to watch it. I was hollering the screen. The first 15 minutes of the, of the movie, I was already hollering and screaming. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought, um, I feel like I see Jamie in his acting, but when he takes on a role, like seeing the pictures of the man at the end, the actual lawyer, man, he like embodied what that man looked like to me. Yes. You know what I mean? I'm telling you now. I'm you telling you now. Yes, you can just think about that guy and see him doing those things, you know. So yeah. um Jamie Foxx is amazing. Um, the young guy, I think I can't remember his name, the other lawyer oh, that was Hal. Oh, Hal. Yes. Hal. Mm-hmm. oh man, I love him. I He's love his thing. I love yeah. to see him in things. I yeah. really do, you know, and he's always a real smart guy in, in the mm-hmm. movies. Um, he was the real champion, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, Yes, he did a lot of work, and um, yes. I really like his character in this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that um, 
the other his original lawyer, Jerry's original lawyer, um, kind of Mike. Mike, yeah, yeah. Was his name? Mike, yeah. He Mike, kind but... of um realized it. I don't know if he realized it, but I'm glad that he just stepped back. You know what I mean? After what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Recused himself. Mm-hmm. Right. How many yeah. people do we meet or talk to on our day-to-day basis whose grandparents, you know, like we all kind of, they're still alive. Those people that, you know, did those things to black people, they're still alive. You know what I mean? I got you. We either do, you either descendants of slaves or descendants of the oppressor. That's right. it. That part. Or the natives. You know, yeah, which is that part. <laughs> I mean, you think like a lot of these people are still alive, like, yeah, sitting next to them, you know what I mean? Their mm-hmm. granddaddy sitting next to them. Um, that's that's so, sometimes hard to deal with in the day to day, you know. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it was a good movie, said that to say, that's it. Um Definitely, I I have to agree that the cast was amazing. Like yeah. Jamie Fox, um, Journey, uh, the dad from Talladega Nights as uh Mike Rick Bobby's dad from Talladega Nights as Mike. Um, oh yes, an awesome job. Like I never know his name, but oh, his name God. is Alan, Alan Brooke. Brooke, and you know him originally from Ferris Bueller. Oh. I know. Oh, yes, 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 the friend. Yes, I would oh, never yes. have thought that. Oh my God. Yes, mm-hmm. but definitely I remember. You have grown up. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I love the casting. This, I mean, everybody played their part. There, yeah. there was no weak link in no. the cast. Like. I wanted to, I don't know why I didn't want to like um uh the wife of um Jerry Pamela Reed. Uh, Jerry. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I didn't want to like her, but I liked her. Like right. I, mm-hmm. she still did a good job. And and yeah. I wanted to know who she was. At, um I still don't know people's names, but I wanted to know who she was. She, like everybody did a good job with their yeah. <laughs> Um, I just have a special place in my heart for Journey. Um, since Eve's Bayou, I love that mm. she was in this movie. Um, yeah. it was just a really good movie. The way it was told, I'm sure they had to take a lot of creative license to get the history lessons that were in there about building over burial grounds and stuff like that. Like, I'm sure they had to take a lot of creative license with what they did, but they put that shit together nicely. And I appreciated that. Mm. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> I agree. I totally enjoyed this. I enjoyed the, um, I think it was a wonderful cast. Um, I think they chose, casted everyone very well. Um, I really especially enjoyed um, the dynamic be- between Jamie Foxx's character and Jernay Smollier's character. Mm. Because um, they were both sharks. And mm-hmm. they were very confident in what they did, but they both respected each other. Each other. And even mm-hmm. though Jamie Foxx's character knew that he was going to win, he still knew that he better tread lightly around her because mm-hmm. she was nothing to be played with. Mm-hmm. And I enjoyed the fact that, that he did not um, see Never. her as just a woman. Yeah, just mm-hmm. a woman. Yeah. He knew that yeah. he better be on his P's and Q's if yeah. he was going to win. So I really enjoyed mm-hmm. um, their interactions with each other. That it, it made me laugh. And it just brought a smile to my face. I enjoyed mm-hmm. that. I enjoyed this whole movie. Man, oh, yeah. Alan Rook had played the hell out of Mike, man. Oh, yes. Yes, mm-hmm. yes he did. Yes, he did. Right. Yes. yes, he did. I wanted to not like his character, but I liked his character. Like yeah. he did a good job yeah, yeah. with that that role. He really yeah. That was yeah. one thing about that was one thing about his character used that was pissing me off in the beginning, and that was how he kept referring to his staff as boy and son mm-hmm. and all mm-hmm. of that. And that was really pissing me off, and I was like, "This is not gonna go." 
no good with Willa Gary when Willa Gary ain't gonna like that. <laughs> right, like that. Yeah, Tiffany. I mean, I guess gonna be mad. Willa Gary for doing that. Okay. I appreciated that Hal didn't let that go on. That son and uh, mm -hmm. uh yeah, son, he didn't Don't let that go. Me that. Yeah. Yes, man. I appreciate yeah. that. He he got that shit straight quick. Hell, put yeah. it into that very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. um uh Mike all he got himself together too. Like he kind of I don't know how close this is to the actual story because it is based off of true events. It's not actual mm -hmm. true events. I wonder if he got himself together as quickly in life as he did in this movie. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it didn't take him long for him to right. understand you got to respect these people regardless of your upbringing and what you were taught. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Well, I don't, I agree with you on that. I appreciated that they kind of made it, you know, fit for me when he started with um jamie fox's character in the beginning and he was like i am a little bit prejudiced you know like yeah he, yeah he gave his his truth it's kind of like I he was like, i'm working on it yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. but you know he got my cookies right here straight yeah. up yeah. so i can appreciate that how they put that together so it mm -hmm. was believable to me that he <clears> himself from the trial Yes. Yes. And then Mr. Lowen, who that Bill Camp playing Mr. Lowen, he he played that character too. It, this was just this was just a lot of lot of good acting going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what didn't we like about this movie? Well, mm -hmm. I kind of already touched on one thing about the son <laughs> and the boy thing. Um. Hmm. I I didn't I, I didn't like the fact that. Oh shit, I done lost my train of thought. Come back to me. Come back. To me. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I, I, like, yeah, I had already got started. Come <laughs> back to me. Begging you, please. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't a lot I didn't like about, you know, the whole story, but <laughs> Again, I didn't appreciate Mike's, you know, you know, just being in the South and whatever, how, mm -hmm. whatever excuse you want to make for. I didn't appreciate how he was, <clears throat> you know, the black folks mm -hmm. in the movie. But I like, I can go back to what I like because I really don't have a lot that I didn't like about the movie. You know <laughs> <laughs> I like how they all came in uh, when they first yes. got there. The, uh, Willie Garrett and his lawyers to see uh -huh. shut it down. Oh, he was like, "Don't split the pole." And they had to go. Yes, back. yes. Go back. Go back. Don't split the pole. Go back. Go back. Nobody's <laughs> gonna pull up in him. Man, I was like, "He right. He right." I was, they I better. Was they better go back. I had to, I had to Google because this had like a civil rights '60s vibe. I had to figure out what what time period we was in. They. And they in the nineties. I was gonna say they in the nineties. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. the music, the music was telling it. They had a good. It was jamming, but mm. it, 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 it was looking like the seventies. It did have that vibe to the. I don't know it was yeah. something about the the costuming that was a little bit seventy ish in its cut. Um, so I feel like that's the same was, way about that other movie. Um, Tyrone was like that for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was confused about what time, what period of time we was in for a long time. So uh, I forgot they, they, they was in Mississippi. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's it. Yeah, I think in Tyrone we were we were supposed to be confused about the time frame, but we're supposed to know that this is set in the nineties because it's based off of true events. Yeah. But it was just it was just something about it that. Um, but regarding splitting the pole, that's current um, present yeah. day. Uh, yeah. actions because was I think about it. Like he was like he was, like, uh, he was one of them flamboyant he the labels like he was throwing out wasn't 70s labels you know? also yeah. I think what it is is he was born in the 70s so I think I feel like a lot of us who were born in the 80s we still revert back to a lot of things from the 80s and I feel like he reverted back to a lot of things from the 70s and the 80s and things like that even though it was 90s you know like i know i do a lot of stuff 
I, I, I listen to a lot of 90s music. I listen to a lot of 80s music. I even find myself wearing like clothes from times back then. So that wasn't hard to believe. Like I, 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 I just, you know. style. The 90s yeah. Mississippi is pretty much like the 60s. But, uh, <laughs> 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 what helped for me uh, was, was Journey. She seemed more 90s for me. She kept it, yeah. you know, she kept it kind of new age. Yeah. And, um, Hal, she, yeah, she was from DC. yeah, her yeah, and but, Hal kind of kept me remembering if this is in the 90s, like Gary. Uh, Willie Gary, he always gave me like 70s, 80s. Vibes. But they were from like, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Him yeah. and Tommy Lee Jones. Like, I just kept getting the 80s, 70s vibe with them. But Journey and Hal, they would bring me back and I would remember. Just so country. Florida, yeah. They, they, just, yeah, yeah. they were just country. Because he was mm -hmm. like Florida flashy, but still mm -hmm. country. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. When he showed up in that green suit and I was they like, did. oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. Actually, now that I think about it, that box was right on time for like 90s. Yeah, yes, he was trying it to do new. that in the 90s, which just and, really shows how and country And pimping was a big thing. Pimping and, you know, a lot of people was, for a lot of men, was for dressing a little pimpish. Yeah, that's that That's that Steve Harvey <laughs> suit era. The big yeah. the yes. suit. Yeah. 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 Exactly that's yeah. exact that's exactly what that was so, mm -hmm. yeah, that, how far we've come no mm -hmm. my goodness yeah. yeah thank goodness thank you god okay amen um, <laughs> yeah. okay, okay yeah. so the only thing that i didn't like about this movie was just the overall theme of prejudice because it was the 90s you know and it, there, it was just so blatant and it makes me sad because that was a time where I grew up and it was happiness all, you know, I, not all the time. I ain't gonna lie and say that shit, but, you know, I just grew up outside of the, all that racism stuff. We didn't get that until like social media and stuff like blew up. And then it was just no choice, but to see it everywhere all the time mm -hmm. in our face. And mm -hmm. it was just kind of jading in a sense, but yeah, um, I just could not stand Lowen and um at all. Yeah. Oh, if you I, think and, if you think racism in the nineties is sad or what's sad, you. you ought to see it in twenty twenty three. I knew you were gonna say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that shit. But it's a, it's always interesting to hear the perspective because I do know there are people like you saying like you didn't experience that. It's people mm -hmm. that really didn't have those experiences. I had all of those experiences. And then you mm -hmm. got people that come from up top. And the people that come from New York or California, they come down here, it'd be a culture shock. And anytime mm -hmm. I meet somebody from those places, I specifically ask them that question. I'd be like, what you think about it? And they'd be like, oh, Missy, they think this just happens on TV when mm -hmm. a big case happens yeah, and they okay. see it on TV. Mm -hmm. Like, no, this is happening every day in 120 different places and you just hmm. get to see whichever one they're going to talk about the most today they all yeah. get a big culture shock when they come yeah. down here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know yeah i always <laughs> ask children what made them move down here like what <laughs> like what made you move here why are you here yeah well where, <laughs> I, where i'm at everybody coming to school you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. you know, that'd be one thing. But other than that, as an adult, only reason I can see is for a uh, lower cost of living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which would, which would be my reason. Because when I see people complaining about $3,000 rent, I'd be like, nigga, move. No, that's it. Get away from yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, oh, my bad. <laughs> you, like, you ain't want me to tell the people. No, yes, my bad, my bad. Bad. Let me hold on. Man, well, let me get in the I had to get in there. Okay. Let me all I like, up. I didn't like Lowell either. That's all I had to say. I just didn't like Lowell. You can go ahead. Hey, and, that was what I was gonna do. Did you don't want to say nothing else? Hey, no, like I, I ain't got nothing else to say. Don't treat us like animals. Hey, yeah, so, and it's such okay. a contradicting feeling when you see people play racist so good in movies. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you play it too good, is that how you really like how you know nope. they're just good actors? Okay. Okay. That's all I'm waiting right. for the opportunity to be them true selves. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. I don't know. Right. That's 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 you have to think about every man that's played a female character. You know, every man that's played a played a woman dressed in drag or whatever for the camera. Hey, like, you can't say that. These people are actors. Man. Yes, and the most that's elite. They supposed okay. to make you believe that shit. You supposed to think yeah. that. Shit. So, people, what you do? You go mm-hmm. watch the burial. And you let Ooh. us know what you think. <laughs> the burial starring like it. Jamie Foxx. <laughs> I almost said Jamie Lee Foxx. Um, <laughs> That's what <laughs> Jamie we're Fox, right now. That's it. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. Look great. <laughs> what are we giving the burial? I mean, I love this movie. It was a really, really good watch. Um, it was really great. I would suggest anyone and everyone to go out and watch it. I give it a four and a half. Mm. Yeah. Um, me too. I clapped. I cried. Uh, I was angry. Uh, I was all the feels. All the emotions. This. All the emotions, yeah. And um, so I give it a 4.5 as well. It was a mm. good, good watch. Check it out, Prime. <laughs> um, same. I definitely laughed. I cried. I was hollering at the TV, um, <laughs> like most of the way through, um, and just surprised by the direction it took me in. I did not expect to be so entertained by this movie, so I gave it a four point five as well. Yeah, this was really good to me. It kept me enthralled. I enjoy all the actors, what they poured into the movie. Um, This is definitely a must watch. I'm going to give this a four. It's a a solid four for me. I want to say a 4.25, but um, yeah, 4.25. That's what I feel like. Okay. Do that math. (laughs) Carried carried a one. Yes. (laughs) Uh, okay cool there it is the burial still comes away (laughs) with a solid four blunts just missed that 4.5 by a sneaky but hey y'all need to go check this out if you know the show that scoring is pretty much equivalent to an oscar um I honestly think really this is. movie didn't get enough um, pub or promotion. They kind of just slid it out out of this movie. They did. Way too good yeah. for that. It kind of felt like um how they was doing this in the pandemic. Just kind of slide and stuff out there. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Um, don't, definitely... like it. don't do it. It's a hidden gem. I suggest you to watch it. It's a, it's yes. a hidden yes. gem. We yeah. gonna see. We gonna see what this, what 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 the academy says about this. I feel mm. like Oscar season. It should get some uh, nominations. Yeah, yeah, some buzz. Some buzz. Definitely yep. is worthy. And and there it is. That'll be another episode of the Smoke Screen. Y'all make sure y'all are back next Friday, God willing, five p.m. Mm-hmm. Eastern Standard Time. That's on this side of the Mississippi. Or mm-hmm. y'all watching? Is it either way? <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah, just tune in. Oh. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just do the calculation so you know what time it is where you is. Mm-hmm.